This is the third video on data analysis using AI agents, as well as automated visualization using AI agents. In this video, we'll be building on top of the two videos and adding Telegram support, as well as introducing and using the latest technology for large language models that are open source called DeepSeek. There's a lot of excitement in the AI community about DeepSeek version 3 because of the price performance. In this video, we'll be taking it out for a test drive with an AI agent workflow where the function calling ability and the reasoning abilities will be put to the test. Let's look at DeepSeek version 3 from a price performance point of view. This is a chart comparing the performance where across many benchmarks and comparing some of the best models in the field, open or close, DeepSeek version 3 fares very, very well. From a cost perspective, if we compare DeepSeek with GPT-40, it's 9.3 times cheaper for input processing and 9.1 times cheaper for output processing. Incredible price performance. Let's do an overview of what we're building. So we have a Telegram bot that is connected to our data analyst agent, and that is hooked up to a no-code DB that has our financial set data set uh, consisting of over 14,000 uh, rows. And this interacts with uh, a visualization agent. And we're using the DeepSeq large language model from open source. All right, so let's see our chatbot in action in Telegram. What is the debt for Google between 2019 and 2023? All right, it's asking me if I want to uh, visualize the chart. Uh, let's say yes. All right, so we have a visualization of the chart uh, with the visualization agent. Now let's uh, add Apple to the comparison. All right, so it's gotten the data for Apple and it's doing this comparison with the chart. And you have the, the details here. Let's compare the return on investment. All right, so you've compared the uh, across the years, the ROI, and then we're going to now uh, create a bubble chart comparing uh, the ROIC and the total debt for each of the fiscal year. All right, so here's my bubble chart. Let's take a closer look at this workflow. In the first video, we built this data analyst agent, and its role was to fetch the data from this no-code uh, DB as a tool. So it would find out from the user what is the query and then do the appropriate filters, get the information, and then display the results. In the second video, we took a uh, generate chart tool. So we added this generate chart tool. And this would call into this data visualization tool that has a visualization agent. And the role of the visualization agent would be to generate the right information that then could get called into a quick chart and then uh, have the information sent back to the data analyst agent. Now, what we've done in this uh, workflow is to add in uh, the nodes uh, for uh, Telegram. So this is the standard node that listens for incoming events, and we're just listening for the message event. And we added this, uh, this code node. It's a very simple node that basically stores the information for the chat ID uh, of the Telegram uh, chat because this is needed uh, for the visualization agent to uh, communicate back to the user. So it flows through here, and then we get the meta information as we showed in the first video. And then uh, when it calls into the data visualization, what we do is we take this uh, chat ID uh, from, the, uh, uh, from, from this part here, and then we call into the quick uh, chart.io to generate the image. And then in the Telegram node here, uh, we send it to the chat ID. So this is a, becomes a binary file that we send, and then it displays it. Now, in, in here, we'll be using uh, DeepSeek. So it's a standard uh, OpenAI node. Uh, but what we've done is we configured it so that it's with our DeepSeek API key. So the, the thing that you can do here is just uh, change the base URL. So this is the API, uh, this is a, the provider, the DeepSeek provider is here. Uh, and 
then you change the model uh, to DeepSeq API, and then you you uh, in your credentials, uh, your API key is uh, not your open a, not your open a API, but uh, the DeepSeq. Right. So the DeepSeq API, uh, you can go to this DeepSeq site, and inside here you can say access API and uh, get your API key. Now, as we've been using uh, DeepSeq uh, in the example uh, that uh, we've shown with uh, the Telegram chatbot with the data and uh, visualization AI agent, you can see that um, for a million, uh, over a million tokens, I spent uh, about 14 cents, which is incredible. And you can see also here that there is uh, this idea of cache hits and cache uh, misses. So um, they've implemented the idea of uh, caching automatically. So if uh, the tokens that you have, let's say uh, there's a large prompt and inside the, that prompt, it's common across multiple calls. Uh, if it hits the cache, then it's about 10 times cheaper than uh, if it, if you have uh, a, a cache miss. So uh, there's a number of here uh, cache hits and uh, cache misses, uh, but that contributes to uh, the overall uh, lower cost of, um, of uh, DeepSeq. To wrap up, we've been able to add a Telegram interface to our data and visualization AI agents. And we've been able to showcase DeepSeq V3, which is an amazing new open source model 